We all know that our planet Earth is spherical in shape. Now, let's imagine that there is a straight horizontal line drawn right in the middle of the Earth known as the equator. A few more curved lines are drawn parallel to the equator. These imaginary lines are called latitudes. But what is it and how does it help us? Latitudes are imaginary lines drawn on the surface of the Earth to measure distance or location north or south of the equator. There are four other latitudes drawn parallel to the equator which fall on either north or south of the equator. In the middle, we have the equator at zero degrees. It divides our planet into two equal halves. It is also the widest part of Earth having a circumference of nearly 25,000 miles. The equator passes through 13 countries. Moving 23 and a half degrees north of the equator, we have the Tropic of Cancer. This area is referred to as the tropics of the northern region. Our country, India, passes through the Tropic of Cancer right in the middle. As many as 16 other countries pass through this latitude as well. During the summer solstice of the northern hemisphere, the sun shines right above the head at noon in this tropic region. Moving 23 and a half degrees south of the equator, we have the Tropic of Capricorn. This area is also referred to as the tropics, but of the southern hemisphere, it passes through 10 countries of the world. During the summer solstice of the southern hemisphere, the sun shines right above the head at noon in this tropic region. Now, let us move on to the colder regions of the world. Located at 66 and a half degrees north of the equator lies the Arctic Circle. It passes through eight countries and marks the area of Earth where the sun will not set during summer solstice and not rise during winter solstice. Moving 66 and a half degrees south of the equator, we have the Antarctic Circle. Unlike all other circles of latitude, this circle passes through just one continent and that is Antarctica. You won't find any human permanently living in this region. However, some scientists and other experts might visit this area to conduct research. All places in the Antarctic Circle receive 24 hours of daylight during the summer solstice in December. These latitudes help us locate places on the world map to understand how far a place is north or south of the equator. In many instances, it also helps us determine the climate in a particular area. These geographical lines on our Earth are extremely helpful to us. With the advancement of technology, the global positioning system or the GPS of a person or place can be tracked easily through these coordinates marked by the latitudes and longitudes of the Earth. 